Art is not a sin, but if it's a crime, consider me guilty on all charges. See, I write poetry in graffiti and vice versa. I have been accused of aesthetic vandalism, scribbling what moves the crowd while crowding the moves of the masses, a spray can sniper. If I'm guilty of anything, it's practicing the art of destruction while deconstructing artistic intent. I am style on mailboxes, rooftops, and the panels of trains. My name is Fame, and I leave impressions like Curtis Mayfield. My signature in permanent pilot ink, they say lowering property values. Property has no value, but spirit is the only possession. Mine bleeds into 24-hour daydreams and night visions of kaleidoscope missions with ten numerals, 26 letters, and infinite style with which to manifest. Sketches become amplified parchment with electric hieroglyphics that burn themselves into the facade before me. I write poetry in graffiti and vice versa. Once upon the break of dawn, I rocked prose photos and textbooks to bring them to future tents. Couldn't get past where there were no funds for art class. Them fools over there, detention for smoking in the bathroom while my crew got busted for playing tag. They only saw the scratches on the breezeway window, but they still don't know the car wreck outside the lunchroom. I told the principal that his principal philosophy was whacking to get with the times. He sent me home because I was out of line. His plan backfired. See, he set me free for a 72-hour bombing spree. That night, this kid with unprovoked aggression tried to step to me. Just because he didn't know me, he thought he could get with me. Getting up and crossing out my name like victory, but biting my style all the while. Eventually, he and his boys shadowed me with burners and magnum markers across the city. See, one-on-one, -on -one, them terrorist toys couldn't deal with my guerrilla calligraphy. I ran subway tracks and tunnels, ducked under station platforms, haunted 24-hour buses and public bathrooms, leaving syllables colliding into positivity like love, will, and destroy hate, only to have messages of dysfunction, dissed, funked, and shunned thrown in my face. On the aft, the side streets, and the cul-de-sacs, I guided their chase. After blocks of urban scrawl and lampposts, dumpsters, and fire hydrants, the battle slowly turned in my favor. Everywhere they wrote dissent, I doubled back and went over it with unity. Power and respect clash with equal and opposite force. I led them down an alley, of course they thought they had me. At a dead end surrounding me were anxiety, my nemesis, and his accomplices. With intentions of finishing this kid, they shook up cans of malice and threw up anger, greed, and fear on virgin walls. So I reached within with all that motivates and with a swirl of swish and a few flicks of the wrist, I blazed S-O-U-L from the asphalt to the heavens. And that's how I faded them all.